This video contains the top 3 best Town Hall 13 attack strategies to 3 star any base. So let's start with our first army, the Super Archer Blimp Dragons. This is a very powerful version of the Super Archer Blimp Hydra attack because it doesn't use any Dragon Riders and instead just focuses all on the dragons, which I find to be a lot better. What you'll want us to do is you'll start off with the two dragons to set a proper funnel. The main reason you're doing this is so you can spam everything. There's literally only one step to this outside of the Super Archer Blimp, which is basically spamming everything in. You're going to send in your dragons, your balloons, your Grand Warden, Apprentice Warden, and your king queen and grand warden as you move into the base it is really important that you are creating that small funnel to keep everything in line and using an early grand warren ability to protect everything as the blimp goes deeper once you get to around the core you'll want to use a rage invisibility and a double clone once you you can use your super archer blimp effectively from here you're basically allowing all the rest of your troops to basically do th their work the dragons should be left over which is really nice as, it, as it's going to help you get through and you've also got the back end royal champion or a royal champion that can support either the dragons that are left over or your heroes so you have plenty of options and even as you get closer to the back end you'll have your hero abilities and that's what makes this attack so strong you also have a ton of dragons left over over, so it really means that you have a lot of flexibility with this with a strategy like this so this is a very easy attack it only takes one actual step to perform outside of the super archer blimp and otherwise you can get through these bases more often than not as pretty much they are incredibly easy and a very easy way for you to get three stars Next up for our second army is the Queen Charge Hybrid. This is a very powerful attack that realistically you can use against a lot of bases depending on how much value you can get from your queen. For starters, you will want to make sure that you are able to f set the funnel. So using things like Sneaky Goblins is a very good way in order to get your queen to go in the right direction. You do want to make sure that you are utilizing the queen's frozen arrow and taking further advantage of it. So you do want to make sure that you are getting your queen in with the super wall breaker and also making sure that you're able to establish more of that funnel. You can bring in the use of an apprentice warden to follow her along, which can definitely help her in the long run. But for the most part, you do just want to make sure that you are getting to the town hall. Since in some situations, you can pull the CC as well as charge in for the town hall. It's also a strategically good spot that you can very easily create pathing with as for those rage spells make sure that you are using them to keep your queen alive as she goes through a lot of dps keep in mind as well that you will want to make sure that you're using free spells to deal with the single target inferno and if you have the frozen arrow once she locks onto it that single target inferno is not really going to do anything now if you're dealing with the enemy cc make sure you do use a poison in this case i used my queen's ability just in case because i was placing in my funneling on the other side where you're going to be using your barbarian king with the siege barrack this is a great way to establish part of your funnel which is going to make it a lot easier for when you send in your main attack so it's really important that you're able to get the value off of the base with the queen charge funneling the other side with your king and siege barrack which is then going to make your hybrid very much possible so now with your hybrid you're pretty much going to send in your miners your hog riders your royal champion and grand warden moving in you want to make sure that as they're working in you use an early heal this is very important as you want to make sure that you are clearing through the very beginning i'd recommend right after that heal early grand warren ability having the healing tome here is going to be a helpful lifesaver for you i'd recommend using that in order to continue to move yourself in from there you can pretty much wait in terms of your next sort of spells in terms of your heal you want to wait until your heal can be used on the back end this is going to help any of your leftover hog riders maybe cc's and of course it's going to help the miners a lot so you do want to just make sure that you're able to continue to work yourself through having cc troops like valkyries can very much help on the back end 
Otherwise, you can very easily three star with a strategy like this, considering the queen charge is going to do a lot of work. And with the frozen arrow, she is going to more than likely stay alive a majority of the time, making this a very strong attack strategy that you can use to three star most bases since it's hybrid. It's a very strong option. And of course, for our third army and one of the best, the Blizzard Lavaloon. This strategy is incredibly powerful and for good reason. It is a very powerful attack that uses a Blizzard to start off. You can use a Lava Hound here, but if you know that there are no real air defenses in a given area, you can use that blimp. So use an invisibility, then use a rage spell and then start timing your invisibility spell every four seconds. Now, if you're dealing with an Electro Titan CC before you place in your Blizzard, use the Archer or whatever other ground troop that you have to lure it away, because that way your Super Wizards can stay protected. For the most part, this is going to allow you to start using your Hero Dive. Now, following this with the Lava Loon, you want to make sure that you're going into a given area. You do not have to go in for the Town Hall always with your heroes. It is definitely nice, but try to go in for other defenses like Scatter Shots or the Eagle Artillery. It is very much possible for your Lava Loon to get stuck because of a Scatter Shot instead of the Town Hall. So you do just want to be very, very aware of that. You do want to also make sure that you have your Royal Champion being used in terms of clearing out some of the other defenses. This can be to support your Lava Loon, as well as clearing out additional structures like Inferno Towers, which can definitely make things a lot easier. You do just want to make sure that you have a very clear path to start your Lava Loon, even if that means that you go for the Town Hall a little bit later on in the attack. Clearing out the scatter shots is just as important. So even if the heroes do split, you'll have a majority of your strength still up with your king, maybe the royal champion, and of course your queen moving through and clearing a good chunk of the base for your lava loon. So next comes your Lava Loon. Pretty much you're going to send in a Lava Hound with a couple groups of balloons and do the same thing on the other side. You could have a couple Headhunters to be used in order to help clear out enemy heroes, especially the enemy queen, but you'll want to use your haste spell specifically over the balloons as you get through key defenses. An early Grand Warren ability is also extremely nice, especially if you're being hit by a scatter shot. but for the most part, you want to make sure that you are running with the free spells against splash damage defenses, including the Town Hall. Having the haste spells there in order to help move the balloons through, even if you're on top of the Town Hall without the Grand Warren ability, having that life gem is such an important thing so your balloons do not die to the Giga bombs damage outside of the range otherwise just make sure you have cleanup troops and you can very easily dominate bases with the blizzard lalo each of these attacks in their own right are incredibly powerful and definitely worth trying be on the lookout for my queen charge guide that is coming in just a couple days but what is the best army for the Lunar New Year event for Town Hall 13? I recommend checking out this video here. 